Jim coming to you guys with another video. Philadelphia Eagles finally snap a three-game winning uh, losing streak with a win in overtime over the New York Giants. Props to Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz finally had his his Philadelphia Eagles moment. That's what we'll call it. Uh, but a lot of things to get into in this game in this uh, in this recap. So the game did not get off to a good start. We did not, we couldn't really move the ball. Uh, and then the Giants, they couldn't really move the ball until they had one drive and Ronald Darby misses a tackle on third down and Darius Slayton takes it the distance for a touchdown and then we're able to get a drive going, but it stalls out and of course, uh, we have to kick a field goal and then it's 7-3. Next thing you know, um, Darius Slayton wide open down the field. It's 14 to three. It's 17 to three at the half. And you guys saw my video. I was, I was disgusted. I just didn't, I couldn't say anything. I couldn't say anything about his performance. And then the team, I don't know what happened in the second half with the play calling or halftime speech or whatever, whatever went on, went on. Um, but Doug Peterson deserves credit. He made adjustments. Jim Schwartz made adjustments. He, the defense, uh, did their thing. I want to point out one play uh, from the defense in the second half. It was late in the second half. It was in the fourth quarter. So we really needed a stop to get the ball back. And none other, they, they, first of all, Rasul Douglas had to leave and they called a timeout because by rule, if the player gets injured, under two minutes, then you have to use a timeout. So Rasul goes out, Sidney Jones comes in, and I'm like, oh shit. Here we go again with Sidney Jones. Sidney, someone's gonna walk right past this guy. Game's over. This guy comes in and he makes a great read and he breaks up a pass. Couldn't have read it any better. Uh, Sidney Jones, great job there. Gets a key stop for us. So we're able to tie the game and go into overtime. Uh, Boston Scott was really the game breaker in this game. Uh, running the ball, catching the ball out of the backfield, Miles Sanders. Uh, he had a few good catches out of the backfield as well. Running game wasn't really there. So Carson Wentz had to throw the ball 50 times in this game again. You come to the end of the game, and got progressively worse as the game went on. So Alshon Jeffrey, he gets hurt. He He's done for the season. They haven't announced it yet, but I can tell you guys, he tore his Achilles. He's done. So receivers for the rest of your year are going to be Nelson Aguilar, Greg Ward, JJ Ortega Whiteside, and maybe Mark and Michelle if we bring him up. But that's pretty much it. So it got to the point where at the end of the game, JJ hurt his hamstring. So it got to the point where they were ready to have Josh McCown come in and play wide receiver. That's how bad it is. So credit to Carson Wentz. You know what? There was a lot of there was plenty of room for him to panic, and he didn't do it. He didn't do it, and he didn't try to be Superman. And that is the biggest thing that I have been harping on with Wentz. Wentz, his problem has been that he tries to make every play of some big play. And he won't, he won't just accept that, all right, we're going to take what they give us and we're going to live and play another down. He did that consistently in this game. He took, he saw what holes were in the zone. He hit the holes and we got it done. So Carson Wentz, he came up clutch. He showed us, this is what you do. This is what a guy that you pay this money, this is what he, you pay him to do. And he went out there and he did it. So he deserves a shit ton of credit. Coaching staff actually deserves credit for the way they came out in the second half. This is an emotional victory. This is a victory that can get guys to believe. And that is a dangerous thing. When you can get a team like this, who's dead in the water, and all of a sudden you can get them to believe, can be dangerous. So, that's all I gotta say. We are on to the Washington Redskins, the Read and React Show, will return this week. I cannot wait. So, that is it, guys. This is your host, the most Billy Jim. Please leave your thoughts and comments about 
this game down below. I would love to hear from you. Uh, until next time, guys. Go Birds. Let's celebrate this win. And let's get ready to let's get another one next week. Let's go. Mm -hmm.